Hello from Bear River. Today is January 19th, 2023. It's about 1130 and the flow is right around 1500. It dropped down to 1000 and then went up overnight with the latest rain. Now we're going to have a dry spell for a while. Uh, the peak and pulse flows have dropped precipitously. So we'll see if NID will ramp at this point or if they'll continue the rapid dewatering. We want to see a natural flow, a natural dew slow down in the flow, not a sharp one. But anyway, there's the rocks and everything at 1500 CFS. And on down here, we can see the willows, <laughs> the ones that have been like punished big time under the deep water that actually went up past that little brush patch there. You can I don't know if you can see the high water mark, but it's, this area was all inundated and it's mostly cobbles with uh, sand and gravel in between. So you can see a substrate of sand and gravel here. But um, what I notice mostly is how the lighter stuff was carried as silt by the river doing its duty, redistributing, flushing, and cleaning. The frog pond got flushed. The willows got hardened. <laughs> and uh, this whole area here got um, undermined a bit, which does create more frog pond. And um, I've been reading, of course, Maven's notebook and there's a bunch of stuff about, oh my God, water's going through the delta into the ocean. Oh, we could have had that water. And I just read something else about flushing the delta and uh, flushing the salinity out of the delta for its own health. And that's what these pulse flows do. And that is the benefit of the peak and pulse flows is the flushing, the cleansing, and the redistribution of the physical uh, landscape. People are so disconnected and a lot of ignorant people are in positions of power like these senators and the ones that thought we should rake the forest to stop the wildfire. You just shake your head and think, my God, what's going to happen with us with these kind of people in charge making decisions, not reading the documents, not understanding, and certainly not having the root philosophy and connection to the natural world that will provide prosperity and abundance for us long term. It's sad to think, but one foot in front of the other, one step at a time. Oh, Matakwe Asin. We're all in this together.